In this video, I want to show you how you can create a button to export your data in Power BI into CSV files. We're going to go through it step by step together so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So in an ideal world, I want to keep all of my data analysis in Power BI. However, you will find that in some cases, yourself or your users will need to export that data into an Excel or a CSV file. Now, if you work with Power BI, you'll know that with any visual elements in the page, you will have the option under the ellipsis icon with an option to export data in a CSV file format. What I found though is that with most executive clients, this extra step can be not too obvious and I wanted to try to think of a solution. So building a button that does exactly this and I found a solution that kind of works. So let me show you how. So first I want to show you this report when actually the data sets that is in it is irrelevant. So to give you a bit of context, we have a few tables of data here. We have uh, order details, which if I just put this into a table here, we'll just use, let's say show the categories of all the products that we have. Well, actually let's set all the orders. So order numbers, we'll have what products were ordered, uh, quantity, how many of those products were sold and unit price for each of them along with their total sales. So this is the table that we want to show in, in our Power BI report. And you will find that in most cases, you will need to export this into uh, a file. So you will find here, export data, and this will allow you to export this data into a CSV file for you to use outside of Power BI. This is the functionality that we want to replicate in the button. For this solution to work, you need two things. You need Power Automate to create the CSV file and you need a shared location drive such as a SharePoint site or a OneDrive folder. This is where the file will be saved in. Unfortunately, I didn't find a solution that simply downloads the file directly into the downloads folder in your local machine. So this is essentially the best solution that we have so far. So first let's define what kind of data we will have in that export. So maybe what we want uh, is the ability to export all individual orders based on the selection that we have created. So let's say in this case, what we want to do is we want to add the category name as a slicer, something like this. And what we want is if we select beverages and once we've created that button and we hit the export to CSV, it will simply export as the list of orders into a CSV file outside of Power BI. So what we can start with is by converting this table into a Power Automate button. So we can simply click on it and you have to make sure that whatever you want to export into the CSV file is already in this table as, as you want it. So in this case, we want to export all these, these details into our CSV file. We'll convert this into a Power Automate for Power BI, which will convert it into this view. Now we've added our data. We already know what we want to include in our CSV. So now we'll simply hit the ellipsis and edit to open up the Power Automate uh, launcher window, which will allow us to create the flow that we want or what we want it to do when the button that we create is clicked. Now we'll have to create the flow from scratch because there's not a lot of templates here that we can copy to do this functionality. So we'll click create new instant cloud flow. So it will start with the event of the Power BI button being clicked. From here, we will add a new step. Here, we will look for something called compose. So compose is a data operation that converts the data that we have in our Power Automate data into an array of information, which is the necessary step that we need to do before we can convert them into a CSV file. So it 
only asks for one thing, which is an input here. And the input that we will put here is the data that we have, all of the data that we have in our Power Automate data in our visual. So you will see that on a lot of the recommendations here for dynamic content, you can even specify just certain parts. But in this case, because we just want to get the tabular form of this Power Automate data, we will just select Power BI data. The next step that we need to add here is to create the CSV file. So we will look for a CSV here, and it will allow us to create the array of data into a CSV file. So this one asks for one mandatory field, which is from. So where is the data coming from to create the CSV? which we will just simply refer to the output of our compose action. So we'll select that. There are a few options here, but because it's already an array, we don't really need to worry so much about that. So we'll leave it as it is, and we will add our final step, which is to save the data into a location that we have defined. So in this case, as I mentioned earlier, we needed uh, a shared location, either a SharePoint or a OneDrive to save your CSV file into. Now in this case, like the easiest for me is to put it in a SharePoint site or a SharePoint location so that it's not just me, but also my team have access to this export file. So let me show you how to save this into a SharePoint location. So I will just write uh, sh create CSV file. So create file, you will see that you have an option to create a file in a OneDrive for business or create one for SharePoint. So we'll just select the one in SharePoint. Now from here, you need to select a few things, so obviously which site, which SharePoint site you want to create it in. So we have this one, my solutions abroad SharePoint site. In the folder path, we will select where it needs to be saved. Now, let's have a look at where I can save it. I'll just try to put it in my demos folder, just and we will go to that and see how that looks like. In the file content, we want to choose the CSV file that we have outputted from the create CSV table step. So we will just add that there. And then you have to set the file name now you can name the file whatever you want. Just be aware that if a file with the same name already exists in the same category, Power Automate will overwrite that document. And if that's the functionality that you want, then that's fine. If not, a typical way to get around that is by adding a timestamp to your file name. So for example, here we can name this one orders. And after the orders, we can look at the Power BI outputs here and add a timestamp. This makes sure that when you export data from Power BI, that the file name will always stay unique, which means it will create a new file instead of overwriting a current one. Lastly, you want to ensure that the file ends in a .csv file, so it is treated as a, a CSV file. Once you're done, and I think that's really it for our flow here, we'll simply hit save and even rename this one so save to CSV, and which means that you can refer to it in the future if you wanted to create some functionalities that do the same thing. Save and apply. This will apply this flow to the bottom in your report. Now, when it says you've successfully applied it, you can simply go back to the reports, which will generate you this button, which is the button once you have click on it, it will generate the CSV file for you. But before we click this button and see if our flow actually works, let's customize this a little bit. So let's click on it, change its fill to a color, the Excel color, and I've already copied it here, so that should be it. And the button text, we will change it to uh, export to CSV that will allow us to export uh, or, or signify to our users that this button will export their data into a CSV file. And lastly, let's open up the SharePoint site where that data will be going to. So this is the SharePoint site that we want to save our CSV files into. And we set in our flow it, that it will go into this demos folder, which at the moment there's nothing. Now, 
if I go back to my Power BI report now and hold control click which will trigger our flow we have beverages selected here at the moment so what I've said is export my orders list my beverages uh, orders into a CSV file now if we go to our SharePoint site here and let's just hit refresh you'll see that now we have a CSV file there named orders dash the timestamp so when I exported it and, and this is a CSV file and if I open it you will see that it is a list of all the orders that have been made the product names categories quantity unit price and sales which is exactly what we expected to export now let's try another example let's try to disable this uh, filter and let's say we just want to export all the orders that we have in the system so with everything unfiltered hitting export to CSV once more you'll see that it will say triggered then we'll go back to our SharePoint site here and hit refresh you will see that a second one has been added if we click on that you will see that now instead of giving us just the beverages category orders you will see that it will give us all the orders that we have in our database which is great so one important thing to note with this functionality is that the data that is exported from the Power BI reports into your CSV file is what is what you've defined here in the Power Automate visual. So anything that is under the Power Automate data will be the data that's exported. So if you want it to export another set of data, you need to make sure that uh, the data that you want is defined here in this Power Automate data well. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to create a button to easily export the data that you have in Power BI into a CSV file. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.